have heard that Day of Dragons Discord was a bit on fire, therefore I went and investigated it. First of all, I am going to show you everything in screenshots, but the first screenshot is the Discord link is removed. I couldn't actually get to it through a Google search. You cannot find Day of Dragons Discord anymore. So the only way that I found it is if you go to the tagged links section in Steam. The original link is removed, but before it was removed, somebody quoted it saying, when can I play my game? And through that person's quote, the invite link is still active. So I'm just gonna plop it at the bottom of my video. So then, now to move on to the rumors. The rumor was that Joe, main developer for Day of Dragons, the, one, the person that was supposed to do all of the coding and apparently faked his coding knowledge, he quit his own Discord. And yes, yes, he did. It took me a little while to track him down in the Discord. Thankfully, his messages are not currently removed. So here you can see that High Ground, the account High Ground, is making announcements. And that is his account, the account that left. This is the only dev that left the Discord. It's just that he changed his name before leaving. And we're gonna talk about that in this video as to why he did it, but if you look specifically for his full Discord name, which is high ground hash seven 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 seven, I believe, I will put it in the description below. If you just search that, you can see absolutely everything that he has said ever and especially before he left. So I just cut it down to where he started to get a bit not so about the whole YouTube stuff happening. YouTubers want y'all to believe I am a dirty dev scamming people and running off with the money and breaking Steam TOS and law and all this other crap. You'll need to quit believing everything you hear on YouTube. These YouTubers are not professional investigators or even news media. They make their living getting clicks and views on their channels and creating drama. Doing great. It's almost Christmas. I can't wait until the next video about me comes out. I'm told it's gonna be to dox my gaming guild and I'm looking forward to them bringing all my innocent friends' names into their cesspool of hatred. I have not seen any YouTubers encouraging hate against this developer. In fact, I do not encourage hate against him either. I've just seen people discouraging you from buying Day of Dragons with showing that their concerns that the development for it will not go very smoothly or fast for the main guy does not know what he's doing and majority of the game currently is an asset flip. He f went on further to complain about YouTubers. They're not interested in clearing anything up. They're trying to take me out of the gaming industry. They fear me. They fear the hype. They fear my fans. They fear my fast updates. What fast updates, sir? And they want to take over the market. Oh, oh, yes, we all have Day of Dragons video games lined up. How did you know? I was making a survival MMO based on dragons myself. <gasps> the secret is out. Haters gonna hate, lovers gonna love, this war is stupid. When is the last time so many YouTubers had ganged up on a small indie game dev trying to make his first game? Probably Ooblets happened before. It depends how scummy of a person you are. What is their agenda? What is their real agenda? No, Aratare, this has gone way beyond reviews. This is a personal war they have waged to attack me. Wars are won when one side gives up, so I suppose he's saying that he's not gonna. Not if you knew what kind of messages I get. It's not about the views. Someone sent me an email. I have read it. I meant you. I don't know what it is until I read it. So he's saying that he was getting nasty mail from people, which is fair enough. People shouldn't be sending you nasty mail no matter what. That is not encouraged. I do not encourage people to do this. But at the same time, the person saying, yes, you can ignore it, is correct. Now, if you go to the third uh, slide of just his posts, 
at some point he changed his name to High Ground and pretended that he's not Joe, despite the fact that once again your full Discord name hash remains unchanged, so people can still track who you are. I don't think that this could be absolutely anything besides him pretending not to be himself. Mostly because you normally don't talk about yourself in third person unless you're trying to pretend to be someone else. How about you all quit putting Zhao in a box and telling him how he is supposed to act? Oh yeah, that was his name, Zhao, not Zhou. Ah, wasn't important for me to remember. I'm so sorry. Stop spamming me, please. No, I just wanted to watch you all spam me. It's okay to spam me because I don't matter to any of you. You're all wonderful. Thank you for the memories. Hate stems from the lies you've been drinking on YouTube. If only the community would leave Zhao alone, like, for one day. And there insults Zhao, Zhao wishes, and there a Merry Christmas, and there tells Zhao to hang himself, Zhao bans, and there Anthomia gets ticked and writes an announcement, people grab pitchforks. He has gotten into some really weird ping argument on t Twitter at this point, I believe. So that's what the messages are about. I'm mostly just including them because he's talking about himself in third person. This is bizarre beyond belief. Because he called Zhao an idiot, so Zhao and the others pinged him Merry Christmas. Patience. Zhao needs to defend his actions. Zhao defends his actions. Patience. Zhao, why are you being so defensive? Well... Besides these messages, he also made a lot of GIF tweets, but they're nothing more than spam posting, mostly? Just shit posting. I do a lot of shit posting on the internet. I know what shit posting is, but they don't bring anything substantial. And afterwards, he up and leaves. And this is his moderator trying to clean up the mess left behind him. Hello everyone, we hope you have uh, you've been having a good holiday season. As you may have noticed, Zhao has removed himself from the Discord to take some time to reflect, rest, and focus on the important things. Please do not bother him during this time. If you have questions or concerns, feel free to direct them towards myself or another Discord staff member. Starting after Christmas, we will be changing the format of the Discord community. For now, our moderators will be on vacation and the currently open chats will remain open and unmoderated. Please remain respectful. We will make an announce before any changes are made. We know that recent incidents and drama has taken a toll on the community, the game and the staff. You have all given us so much love, support and faith and we promise to deliver to you the results you deserve. We are listening and we will do better. Now have a ho happy holiday and we will see you soon. Also worth noting that their Steam has been significantly cleaned up. So this is what Steam page looks like on Archive for December 18th. And this is the new Steam right now. Several categories, such as Ask Questions, have been entirely deleted, as well as quite a lot of topics. I kind of expected that to happen, honestly, but it's still quite obvious when it does happen and when the developer is censoring the community a bit. Uh, besides Discord and Steam, there aren't really any places for people to talk about this game. I suppose they could go to Reddit, maybe. So to see all of the prominent places where people could talk about it just being censored outright, it's not it's not a good look and it's not a good feeling the same way that it's not a good look or a good feeling for your main developer to quit their own Discord. But hey, if he's gotta do that, he gotta do that. What can you do? So yeah, that's the situation with Day of Dragons. I'm pretty sure that everyone's under a lot of stress right now. It is a tiny bit insane. I do not suggest going there and doxing them or insulting them or harassing them I would just suggest to not buy the game for it's a bit controversial and the developers going bit not so and if you're gonna go to their discord go there to mostly collect 
pictures, collect posts, because that will likely get deleted later. Don't go there to harass people, alright? Alright, so that has been my update on Day of Dragons. If you like my content, please subscribe and I hope I'm gonna see you the next time.